There are two things you need before you get your Uni Coda 16. Things I wished I'd had when I got my first Uni pizza oven. The first thing you will need is a pizza peel. The Uni does not come with one. So you're gonna need one of these to be able to launch your pizzas, turn them, get them out. I started off with this wood one, which works great for making the pizza on, launching. The issue I had with was with getting the pizza back out with how thick the wood is, it was making it hard. It was pushing the pizza toward the back and burning it sometimes. So it is possible, it's just not super easy. So I ended up getting a metal one just like this, nice and thin. You can get under it, pull it out, rotate it, put it back in. So using both of these is a viable option. I'll put some links in the description for those. The other peel option is a perforated one like this. This one came with my uh, Gosney rock box. Um, the nice thing with this is with these little slots in here, you can move the pizza around and the flour will fall out from, you know, scooping it off of your counter. So that way you're not launching all that flour into the pizza oven. So also a great option. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. But you do need a pizza peel. Um, the second thing we'll get into, but I'm guessing you want to see what the Unicoda 16 looks like. Let's check out what's inside. This thing's looking good. This box it came with, very well made, feels great. Looks good too. Okay, we've got some pamphlets and stuff you can read on your own. I'm not gonna bore you with reading that to you. Okay, right on top, we got our pizza stone. It's got a good amount of this air pocket stuff to keep it safe. You can see our hose regulator and propane attachment. We've got the oven itself wrapped in plastic. Let's take it out and get a closer look. Real quick, a cool little upgrade they've done because this is my second pizza oven. I got one a couple years ago. Um, a new thing they've added is underneath, they've got this little tool here um, and it's attached to the bottom. You can put a match here in the end and stick it in and light it in case the igniter's not working. It did come with one of these in mind, but it wasn't attached. So that's a really cool feature that they've added. Let's go ahead and add our Uni pizza stone. Little pro tip, as you can see, there's a little indentation here that says Uni. I like to put that on the bottom. When you're cooking, sometimes cheese sauce falls off and this just makes it harder to clean. So I like to put mine face down so you have a nice smooth surface for cleaning. So let's go ahead and add it. Okay, once it's in, if you ever need to get it back out, there's a spot right here you can push up. So you can push up on that and pull it out. Another quick tip is that if you're ever gonna use this pizza oven anywhere other than your house, camping, taking to friends or family, I would suggest you keep what the stone came in, so you can put it back in for transport because this thing moves around really easy. Hate to see that break. And then the original box. You can just store it all in there, take it, and it's nice and safe. If you've enjoyed the tips so far, please like the video. Now let's get to the second thing you need for your pizza oven. You need a infrared thermometer. They're like 20 bucks, not very much money, but you can use them to temp how hot the stone is. I had issues in the beginning because one, mine only went to 750 degrees. So I have a link in the description below for this one that goes past a thousand degrees. Problem was once it got past 750, you can't even tell how hot it is. So sometimes the, the crust, the bottom part, the undercarriage wouldn't cook enough. So this really helps a ton to check. You'll start to figure out where you like at 800, 850, 900, but you can be consistent and check the stone. So with the peel and the infrared, you will be ready to go 
and start cooking pizzas on your pizza oven. I've got a bunch more videos on how to cook pizzas, recipes. Go ahead and subscribe. You'll get notified and it really helps out the channel. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully this helps.